I'm sure we've all experienced a creative block on our journey at some point. You know, if we're writers, we've experienced the writer's block where we get stuck trying to find the next line, trying to find the right solution to the problem that we're trying to solve within our writing. Or if we're painters, we can find it hard to find the right inspiration to put on the canvas. And it's not just um, artists and creatives that experience this. I think it's people in other fields such as businessmen and athletes where they find it hard to find the right motivation and inspiration to push through and really perform and find the gas in the tank to to get the job done, I guess. So I think it's not just artists, but uh, it's a human experience um, being blocked in our performance. And this video is pretty much just about the tools that I've found on my journey um, that have helped me become more aware of when I am experiencing a creative, when I am experiencing a creative block and um, how I deal with it. So the first thing I just want to talk about is when experiencing these blocks, it's easy to get into an emotional spiral of frustration and boredom. Um, I've come across this illustration called the emotional spiral, which um, clearly shows, you know, that we can elevate in positive emotions or decline in negative emotions. So when we're experiencing boredom and frustration, it's very easy to quickly spiral even more into those emotions. So once becoming aware of where you're at emotionally and how you're feeling when you're approaching your art or your craft, be aware of how you're feeling. If you're feeling bored or frustrated, all right, be aware of it and try and put yourself up to a higher, to a higher point of emotions and feelings such as joy and optimism and excitement. And from there, you'll feel better about what you're doing and it's about pretty much being intentional and conscious about how you're feeling in that very moment. Now, there's a few things that I've found that you can do when experiencing a creative block. The first thing you can do is go around it, go above it, go under it, or just break right through it and go forward. So when I say go under it, I don't think that's the best thing to do. And it means that you're going underneath and car carrying those emotions of frustration and boredom, which can lead to anger, which can lead to you giving up on the project at hand. So I don't think it's the best thing to do um, is to go underneath it. So instead, you can go above it. And when I say go above it, it means to have intention and clarity with the feeling that you're trying to get within your art. You know, if you're writing poetry, for example, try and find a feeling that you're trying to express and be intentional and directional whether it's you know um all right for example your intention for this poet poem that you're about to write is purpose and from there you actually have some direction with what you're about to write and you just go from there um the other way is just breaking right through the the block itself and when I say that, it means just getting the pen moving, just getting the paintbrush, you know, stroking away, get some motion going. And from there, trying to find a nice flow um, and not, you know, I think there's a fine balance between, you know, forcing things. You don't want to overdo it. But if you just sometimes, it's just the right amount of force within that block that can break through it and you just continue on from there. Now, when I say go around it, um, that means just do something completely different. And that could be within your craft or it could be outside of your craft, you know. And let's just go back to the poetry writing, for example. All right, you're trying to write a poem right now and you can't find the right inspiration to put down or you just can't find the, the line. I'm not saying that you need to put the pen down altogether, but you could just do another exercise that can help your poetry writing or you could you know research some techniques some writing techniques so it's not completely putting the craft down or the pen down it's just about moving to another exercise and putting your energy elsewhere because this project that you're working on right now isn't working out so let's redirect the energy to something else and come back to it later and one more way we're dealing with a block a creative block would be just turning away altogether and having a break. You know, go and get some fresh air, um, listen to some music, get
gather some ideas and find some inspiration and then come back to it and you feel refreshed with a whole new energy. So sometimes we just need to have a break. Sometimes we can, you know, be too ambitious and work, work, work within our work. But it is important to have breaks. So that would just be one more way with dealing with the creative block is just to turn away and come back to it later on. But ultimately, I think it's about being present with your art and letting go of expectations. Being present with the emotions that you have, with the stories that you have, letting go of the past. You know, if you had a shitty day at work, don't bring that frustration into your work, but instead let go of it or transmute that energy into your work um, so you can use it in a positive way. Letting go of expectations of the future, of what you want your art to look like or sound like but be open to the flow of creativity that you already have and you surprise yourself what you can bring up in that very moment. So have fun with your work, do things that excite you, do things that will lift you up in that emotional spiral and try and stay in that emotional spiral um, as much as possible. And if you find yourself dipping down into that lower emotional spiral, be very intentional and get yourself back up and stay there.